Hey guys, so today, um, I originally wasn't going to do a video today because I've done one for the past two days in a row, but I decided to go with it anyways. I'm going to show you my skincare routine. It's not huge and extensive and fancy, it's just, it's two products and it's super short and it's really all I need for my skin. You would think that I would need more just because of the job that I work, but it's pretty easy actually to take care of my skin. Um, you can probably tell that I still don't do a very good job of it, but I try. So working on cars all day, I always end up with engine oil on my face because all I do all day is oil changes. Having the car above my head, the oil splashing down into the oil pan and splashing everywhere is something that happens a lot. I take oil filters off of the car and accidentally drop them because my hands are oily and I'm a klutz and then that oil splashes everywhere. Almost always gets all over my face, all over the floor, all over my arms, all over my hands. And then my hands end up full of oil, full of dirt from touching the tires and making sure all of the moving parts underneath the cars are still working. I just end up super dirty and my hands end up disgusting and then I, of course, I have to itch my face and so I'm touching my face with my disgusting hands and I'm really prone to breakouts specifically because of that and because I don't take care of my face in between every single car. I mostly go all day with oil and dirt and sweat sitting on my face until I get home and take a shower and do this skincare shebang. I usually do most of this in the shower. I don't do all of it every day, but I do wash my face every day. I use Biore charcoal, great for oily skin. It says it's deep pore charcoal cleanser. I basically looked at the shelf of face cleansers and grabbed the one that said it works great on oil because that's what I have on my face all day. So on the how to use, it says, for optimal results, use daily, wet face, pump cleanser into hands and work into a white lather, massage over entire face, rinse thoroughly. So I'm gonna do that. It's what I do every day. I'm usually in the shower when I do this part, so I have a bowl of water. We're gonna see how that works. Glasses off. My face is wet. I feel like the charcoal does extra stuff too. Once again, it probably doesn't. I haven't actually looked into any of that, but I trust labels. I've been getting a lot of breakouts right in here lately. I have multiple blemishes right on my lip right here. I've been noticing over here is getting a little gross. All right, I think that's a deep enough lather, right? It's everywhere. It feels very cooling on my face. Like it feels cold. And the longer I let it sit here, it'll start getting tingly. And I feel like that means it's working, it's magic. But like I said, probably not doing anything. But I like how it feels. I get a little confident after I wash my face. All right. I think that's good. I'm gonna rinse now. I did it. I wasn't getting a good splash effect, so I just dunked my whole face in the bowl. Usually what I would like to do, and I know you're not technically supposed to do this, but I like, while my face is still wet, I like to scrub with the towel. I feel like it exfoliates, but I also feel like that's not a good thing. I'm going to do it anyways. Alright, we're dry. Definitely dry. So that was kind of step one, I guess. Now, three times a week. 
because it says on the label to not do it more than that. Usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I can't always do it Wednesday, so sometimes I'll switch it for Thursday and Saturday. I love, love, love this Bare Minerals Claymates Mask Duo. Be Pure and Be Dewy. I have the same face as literally everybody else on this planet where my T-zone is very oily and the rest of my face is not. It's dry. My cheeks especially, I used to have such a problem with it that my doctor um, prescribed me a specific face lotion because I had rosacea so bad right here that like my cheeks were so dry that they were actually cracking and bleeding. That's how dry they were. And it wasn't even dead of winter. It was like middle of the summer. My cheeks were dry and cracking. So I do this the same way everyone else does this, except I don't like dunking my fingers into the clay mask. So I use the little plastic insert that comes with the thing. So I'm just going to get right into it. I don't have a mirror in this room. Oops. I don't have a mirror in this room, so I have to use my camera viewfinder. <laughs> nope, I just got that in my eyebrow. I'm gonna go I'm just gonna put it on my lip too because like I said I've been having real bad breakouts right in that area. And I just want to make sure that it's going to be extra clean. I'm going to go in with Be Dewey, right? Yeah. I always get confused on which is which. And then I feel like I did it wrong. I feel like an idiot if I did it wrong on camera. I'm going to go in with Be Dewey. I don't really do my entire cheeks. I just do the parts that I remember being really bad. That one. Those couple times that I've gotten super, super dry cheeks. So we got that going. When it comes to clay masks, I don't actually know how much you're supposed to layer onto your face, so I just kind of go for it. I'm just going to smooth it out. Like cream cheese. I am a bagel. Who doesn't like bagels, though? Now, leave this on, of course. For 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not going to make you sit here with me for 10 to 15 minutes. This is it. This is my whole skincare routine. Are you amazed? I'm just kidding. This isn't it. I'm not going to rinse this off in the same bowl that I just rinsed my face wash off in. I'm going to take a shower because my face was fresh after work face, which means my whole body is fresh after work body. I'm gonna take a shower and once I get out of the shower I'll show you the remaining step of my three-part skincare routine. See you then. Alright so I have some news. I recently got a new desk. It's a great desk. It's very big. The only difference with it is that there's far less storage space than my last desk. What this means is, is that my life is far less organized. I wasn't organized before. So, the face cream that I usually use has gone missing. I can't find it. I got out of the shower, went to grab it off the counter of the sink in the bathroom. Wasn't there. I thought maybe, you know, I'm just now wearing my glasses and I can't see it. So I got closer and I squinted and it's not there. So I went into my makeup room. I thought, oh, it's probably sitting on my vanity, waiting for me there. It's not there. It's not on this desk. It's not on top of my mini fridge. It's not anywhere on my little display shelf thingy that I have over here. It's not hiding in my bed. I don't know where it is. So this skincare routine has somehow turned into a review. 
Last month, in my Ipsy subscription, I received multiple moisturizers. One of them was a body cream, so I won't be putting that on my face. The other one is an IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion, 72 hour moisturizer. Looks like this. Came in my Ipsy. I'm gonna try it out because I feel like if I don't do this step of my skincare, horrible things will happen. I usually use Ole Regenerist Cream something. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but I'll figure it out and I'll put a link in the description. And if this feels good on my face, I will put a link for this in the description. I'll also put a link in the description for the Biole Charcoal Face Wash and the Bare Minerals Claymates Mask Duo. Duo Mask. I don't have my glasses on so I can't read the label from here. <laughs> so yeah, let's give this a shot. So since I always wash my face in the shower, I usually get out and I dry off after having washed off the oil from the day and the sweat from the day. I will get out of the shower, put this, not this cream, but I will put cream on my face. First impressions, it feels very wet. Normally, face creams that I use are very fluffy. The Olay cream that I typically use is a very fluffy cream. It's very airy. This... It's not a bad feeling. And it is drying, but it doesn't feel dry. So that's very good. It doesn't have the same, like, cooling effect that the Olay seems to have on my skin. Um, now that it's settling into my face, it feels very smooth. It feels very smooth. I don't have the softest skin on my face, but it is making my skin feel very smooth. I like it. We'll see in the morning if my face still feels fine. I'm sure it will. I've never had a bad reaction to anything, any type of makeup, any type of moisturizer, face wash. Although I will say about this face wash, the Biole Charcoal Face Wash, if you just use that face wash and don't do anything else with your face, you just use the face wash, your skin will dry. It is exact. It does exactly what it says it does. It attacks the oil on your face. It does its job. But if you are on the oily side, very oily side, this is a good face wash for you. I would just very much recommend using a moisturizer afterwards. The Clay Claymates Mask Duo. I love it. I feel like I'm already seeing a difference in my skin and it's only been a few weeks that I've been using it. Like I said, my cheeks often get so dry that they crack. Um, I can usually tell that it's about to happen because this, my skin, the skin of my cheeks will look flaky in the mirror. Biore Charcoal Face Wash definitely recommend for people who have a skincare routine that includes a moisturizer. Don't recommend for people who just want to face wash and be done. Claymates, very, very much recommend to anyone because anybody who has a face probably has oil on that face and could really use a clay mask. That's all I'm saying. It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel lotion. I'm recommending it. It feels really good on my skin. It doesn't feel... it doesn't feel weird. I don't know how else to describe it. It just doesn't... it doesn't feel the same as my Olay. But it's not bad. It's actually very good. I like it a lot. Alright. That's all I've got for my skincare routine. That's all I've got for you today. I will tell you to subscribe and I will tell you to like it 
and I will tell you to comment and I'll see you later.